Good morning. It's Monday, January 14th, 2019. I'm Kathy. And I'm Ruby. And this is J-Town Update. The core survey is here, Panthers. The survey window starts today and ends February 22nd. This survey is really important. It gives us a lot of information about life at Jordan High School. More information to come. Happy New Year's, Panthers! If you love technology and media, why not consider being part of your student help desk team? We produce Town updates, solve computer problems, fly drones for school media, and more. If you are interested for a second semester, come see Coach Carroll. Does expressing yourself make you feel happy? Do you want a place to publish your work? Then express your feelings, ideas, experiences, and or points of view through your art, poems, drawings, short stories, photographs, paintings, or any other representations that we can record in this year's Stylist Magazine. This year's theme for Stylist is Your Art, Your Way. What this means is the subject matter is wide open for you, as long as it is school appropriate. So become a published poet, writer, artist, or a photographer and submit your poems, short stories, lyrics, and our artworks to the Stylist Magazine. And contact any Stylist students to turn in your stuff or to go to Route 1219 to see Mr. Headley to turn in your work. Deadline to submit is February 28, 2019. Saturday school is here. If you need to make up past absences and need help with your classwork, please plan on attending. Saturday school starts at 8 a.m. and it's at 12 p.m. All students must enter through Myrtle and check in at B121. Students can get permission slips from the attendance office. The remaining first semester dates for Saturday school are January 12, January 19, and January 26. Bring your classwork and textbooks to be productive. Any tennis players out there? Jordan has a both varsity and JV team to the any level. If you're interested in playing on the boys' Jordan tennis team and making new friends, see Coach Scott in 12-12. Coach Chalker in 1303, or come out to the court six period, or after school. Session starts second semester to sign up now. No experience necessary, just a desire to have fun and learn. On Tuesday, January 15th, the girls' soccer team will be hosting an alumni game from 7 to 8 p.m. Prior to the start of that game, the freshman and sophomore team will play against the JV team from 5.30 to 6.30. Please come and support the girls' soccer program. The second annual club, Unity Orange, will be on January 18th during lunch. All clubs are welcome to participate. Prior to the 18th, have club members make posters with posts by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. At the beginning of lunch on the 18th, meet at the back gate with your posters. If you feel inspired, you may read your quote on the rally stage. Ace sweatshirts are here. Students and staff can get your Ace hoodies for $25. All sweatshirts are charcoal gray and made by Ace club members in our lab. We can personalize it with your name or logo for an additional fee. Come into room 1307 to support our ACE Club. Check out the hoodies and let us know how we can personalize it for you. All sizes are available upon request. The Zai Sisters and Omega Brothers program will be having a spring rush for those interested in becoming members of the program. We are a service learning group modeled after and mentored by sorority and fraternity. Zai and Omega was founded in 2007 and has existed at Jordan for 11 years. We are also looking for new students to be a part of our STEP team. There will be an orientation meeting to find out more information Friday, January 18th at 3 o'clock p.m. in Room 502. The rush week will start on January 22nd. Come by Room 502 for more information. Jordan's podcast, PantherPod, exhibits the special talents and interests of our staff and students. If you're interested in appearing in an episode of PantherPod, please contact Coach Carol Room B225. The 30-minute podcast is featured on YouTube, and it could be a great resource when applying to colleges. Teachers, club sponsors, ASB students, athletes, and interested Panthers, do you have a message to send? Fill out the new bulletin request by going to bit.ly slash gtu4. Again, that's bit.ly slash gtu4. This is a great way to announce club activities, special events, and projects. Get out to see those games, support your classmates, show your Panther spirit, and give your all in the classroom. Because that's how we make it happen at Jordan High School. Until next time, have a great week, and go Panthers!
trash, trash, so much trash. Hey, what are y'all doing? We're going to class. You're supposed to pick up your stuff. That's the janitor's job. There's a station up there where you're supposed to put your stuff. Hey, do you need hey, help with that? Are you with that? Thank you. This goes in the trash. This also goes in the trash. This can, you obviously see that this is a water bottle, so this is can be recycled. This can also go in the trash. And this is where you put your paper trays. Go in the tray. Now this Gatorade bottle must be put in the recycling. Well, this should be put in the trash. These also should be in the trash. This too. And you put the trays in here. What do we do with these? Oh, you see these two food are still good. So we use it in the food sharing where you can give it to other students if they're still hungry. I like to clean campus because I like to come to school every day and actually look around and not see stuff everywhere. I want to be able to walk and just not have to worry about stepping on something and falling or worrying that uh, the birds are going to eat it or something and it'll go somewhere else because I know it's not going to just stay here mm -hmm. and it's it's our job to keep the school clean. This helps our environment because when we recycle and it helps our school. I don't like trash because it shows that like people don't care about what they do and they know that if they get home their parents will make them clean up so it's no point in the school messing up and just because somebody else has to clean it up don't mean that they can leave it around. to work together to make a change for our school and the environment. Thank you for practicing waste reduction.